Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 Platinum. Now the most suitable features on the Platinum is its 360 degree backup camera. You also have your kick assist, power lift gate, along with your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 Platinum. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Platinum is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look, just at your front grille, you will see your front facing camera for your 360 degree back camera. And then if we take a look, you have your parking sensors and over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your down facing camera on your uh, sets of mirrors for your 360 degree backup camera, integrated signal lamps, uh, integrated signal lamps, sorry, as well as your uh, vortex generators. Up top here you'll see your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Galactic Aqua. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather into your seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. And if we take a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your mirror controls with your lane departure alert and your heated steering wheel with your all wheel drive lock and your power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your seat memory controls as well as your window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control scroll function, Bluetooth, mode select voice recognition, scroll function, as well as your back and your cruise control. Now you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here. So with the multi-informational display, you'll actually see your fuel statistics, distance to empty, eco indicator, all wheel drive indicator, and a sway warning. But you'll also find your navigation as well as your audio, lane departure alert, messages, and then your settings for your lane departure alert, pre collision system, as well as your blind spot monitoring on or off. So when you actually turn on your blind spot monitoring, they'll actually light up in the mirrors there, letting you know that it has been turned on. Parking sensors on or off, and a couple of other additional features. Now taking a look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here which include your hazard lights and then you also have your traction control on and off and if we take a look inside the apps menu, you'll see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now you do have the premium JBL sound system, temperature control settings just located down below for your dual zone climate control underneath. You'll see your eco and sport mode along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper de-icer, USB and auxiliary input, and your two power outlets. Now it's mounted to a automatic transmission and if we take a look just at the very top here, you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And a couple of the controls you'll see up top here include your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder just for those days when it's quite bright outside. Now the nice thing is with this 360 degree backup camera is you have a nice aerial view of the vehicle as well. You also have the guiding lines on there so when you turn the steering wheel they'll actually turn with it as well. Now if you want to change up the view for your backup camera you can give it more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view itself. Now when we put this into drive and then we hit the button that's just located right beside the hazard lights here you'll actually have that nice front view of the vehicle so in the event that you're in a park and you need to see exactly how much room there is from the wall and yourself then you can actually see that there now if you keep it on auto anything uh, below 10 kilometers an hour this screen will actually stay on but after you go past 10 kilometers an hour it'll go back to the screen you were on previously now if you press it when you're in park here it'll give you a nice aerial view as well as a 360 view of the ve uh, vehicle, sorry. So when you actually hit it once more here, you can have a much more close up of the vehicle just to see if there's any obstructions in your way just before you head out on the road. And we'll press it once more and it'll turn itself off. 
Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located on the back of your tailgate, or sorry, your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then if we take a look on the back of the tailgate here, you will find your backup camera just on your left hand side, rear hatch release located just underneath your Toyota emblem. Now the nice thing is you just have to press on the button once or you can actually use the kick assist feature where you just place your foot underneath there and then it will open up for you automatically. So if you have your hands full of groceries or bags, it makes things a little bit more difficult. But with the kick assist feature, it actually makes things a lot easier for you. Now you also have the tonneau cover and the cargo net in the back here of your rear cargo space. So the nice thing with the cargo net is the smaller items you can just place inside just so it's not uh, bouncing around just while you're driving. And with the tonneau cover, if you have any valuables back here that you don't want people to see necessarily, uh, you have the tonneau cover to actually do that for you. And if you need the additional space, you can fold down that 60-40 split rear seat. And if we take a look now just underneath the floor, you'll find your spare tire as well as your jack and your toolkit. But the nice thing about this space is that you can actually place your tonneau cover underneath here. So if you do need the cargo space, then you can just uh, use the cargo space and then put your tonneau cover underneath the floor and then take it out afterwards when you're all finished up. The other thing I like with this tailgate is that it is uh, power adjustable. So in the event that you do need the height readjust for yourself, Hold down the button for approximately two seconds. It'll beep several times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. However, if you do need to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the uh, maximum height for you. But just to make things more interesting, I'm just gonna close it just with the kick assist feature. Now you wanna make sure that you put your foot underneath there. Otherwise the sensor, which is located just underneath there, isn't gonna pick up your uh, foot just uh, sliding underneath there. So you wanna make sure you put it underneath there and then keep it there. Otherwise the tailgate itself isn't gonna close properly. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.